Okay, so here's a simple exercise right away. So uh, let me just read it out and you guys can open up the code and start writing something. So using the comparison operators, I want you to write a function. Uh, I've given it a name in my comfort zone, right? And the idea is that all of us have a temperature range in which we are comfortable. And the idea is to write a function which will check if the temperature is in my comfort zone. You can see why this is an interesting thing to do because if you wanted to build a programmable temperature control, then you would need a function like this, right? Especially if you want to make it user customizable, you can just think of this as part of a temperature control program, right? So in my comfort zone takes one parameter, which is the current temperature. And now you have to write a program, right? And use the program to tell the user if this temperature is in the comfort, in the comfort zone. Right now, in the real program, the user will not enter this value. This value will come from a temperature sensor. But of course, here, we're going to ask a user to enter it. So take a minute and think about this program and see if you can, you know, write it. So the important thing here is to come up with a sensible temperature range. I thought 60 and 80, 60 to 80 degrees is a good temperature range. Again, take a minute. Okay, Sandra said something in chat about confused about when you need a display message function. Cassandra, always, always make functions. I think that's a good practice. It's a practice I'm trying to instill. The only time is when the display is maybe one line and writing a function is overhead, right? Um, so that's the kind of guideline I can give you. It's more a stylistic thing than anything else. We can ask someone, we can ask Mohit. Is anyone done? Or oh, Manish, you can pay. Manish okay, is in charge we, of picking up. You know what? Let me ask Nitya. <laughs> <laughs> Nitya, can you unmute yourself? And, uh... yeah, yeah, now I'm unmuted. <laughs> Manish is picking on people today. Yeah. I tried this. And... So, Nitya, is Nitya. this your comfort zone? <laughs> Nitya, you're a little fa faint. If you speak up a little bit more. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what I tried is I defined the, yeah, so I defined the function yes. as between uh, return 60 to 70. Okay. So, so the, yes. So, let me ask a question. Is it returning a true or false or is it returning a number? Is it returning a true or false? Oh, this will just return a number. Ah, so I think the first thing we could do is we could convert this into returning a true or false, right? Yeah. Because if I have a temperature and so, so you can, we'll, so we can, we can do this together, right? I can say, for example, I can even make variables just to be more descriptive, but, uh, so I can say my low, low temperature is 60, for example, and my high temperature is 80, right? Yeah. The only reason I make the variable is it's easier to make it look like English rather than saying 60 and 80 everywhere. So now what we have to check is the temperature is greater than 60, right? So is the temperature greater than 60? This is one, uh, this is one question, right? Is it greater than 60? And we want it to be less than 80, right? So if I do temperature greater than 60, so this is the important concept. This will return true or false based on the current value of temperature, right? Now we need to combine this with one more condition and you can do it with an and, and the and, what would be the and condition then? Temperature less than 80. That's it, that's it. But why would this return a true or false? Which one? The temperature greater than 60. Yes. Is automatically returning a true or false. That's the behavior of the greater than, that's the behavior of the greater than operation achha, achha. it okay. takes it takes two values and checks and then if you have you see by the construction of greater than it's a relational check it's a logical relational check right it checks is temperature less than 60 or greater than 60 and you can see that there's only two possible outcomes right yeah yeah so python has implemented it so that it will return two possible outcomes now how do we know all this we we just do this by just let's check it out right 
so let's just make a so I, this is really nice that we i want all of you to think like the way i'm trying to talk about right uh, it's not about right and wrong it's really about playing with it so let's pick a temperature let's put it in the right range let's take temperature equal 75 for now right and now let's just print it out so we can see what happens if i say is the temperature greater than 60 of course we know the answer it is greater than 60 i just set it to be greater than 60 but what does python display right and the answer comes out true this is how i want you to have fun with programming right it's just break it down of course we must break it down and the trick is to say how can i break it down which question shall i ask so right now as i'm working with you i'm saying okay maybe we can ask this question just to get familiar with the greater than because nitya said why is it returning true or false right and mm. of course we should check it the other way around if it's less than 60 will it flip and the answer is let's try if it's 50 so the whole idea here is to try right we're not going to memorize anything so now we got this condition right nitya is that clear now yeah yeah i beat it to death right so now we got this condition so now all we have to do is add one more condition so let's just check and let's add the under other condition now which is temperature greater than 80 and you see that this particular piece of code requires us to combine two conditions right so temperature greater than 80 so the temperature temperature is 50 so if we run it of course we get false right less because, john less than 80 oh sorry yeah and if you run this of course we get false right if you, if you break one condition already and is false in that case so let's pick a number that's in between and see if that's good and of course if it's 75 you see the output is true so we got essentially the code that we need to make our function i can just take this code and put it into my function right and then the only important thing here to remember is i must return this value right otherwise i will get nothing back from my function and then i'm done effectively this code has tested my function if we really want to we can actually just test the function right away so these are all things it looks little painful maybe i don't know but these are all things that every programmer is doing all the time right you make a function and then you test it and you make sure that it does uh, what it's supposed to do and if it doesn't then we have you know a problem or not yeah right uh, uh we just just one question yes. so can uh we just one question is yes uh that high and low you don't need to put right that's just of a course. self explanatory exactly exactly you don't need it right so for example so the question is only this i i put it in because this when i write this condition sorry this should be high this condition looks almost like an english condition right the temperature is greater than my low temperature and the temperature is less than my high temperature i can almost read this like english without any numbers in there right but clearly for a small program like this better not to create extra variables if you don't need it so i would of course get rid of it and then i would put 60 here and 80 here and be done understood yeah again it's a st- i like i said i don't want to give you guys these things as black and white it's a style thing it's an expression thing it's how do i want to think question right and when it's done see like for example if you come and read this code right now it's a little hard for you to understand why 60 and 80 is sitting here right hmm. but if i had written low temperature like this and put 60 here when you come later and read it oh he's trying to compare if the temperature is between low and high maybe that gives a clue see what i mean i'm sharing a stylistic idea here so sometimes these variables can become almost like a description of what you're trying to do but if it's clear to you primarily the first person to read the code is yourself so if it's clear to you that what this function is trying to do sometimes people put comments so it's a really interesting question right is it better to put a comment compare whatever right compare temperature to high and low or something or use variables and other things to make your code more clear that's a stylistic thing uh, so hopefully everybody everybody got this right and uh, what about the rest of the code was that easy or uh, i'm sure you can do that now right you have to get basically an input and then run invoke this function that's it yeah hey vijay it's mohit i have a question yes please so, uh, i mean a while this is okay the approach that you just showed what i was trying to do was uh, just use an if else condition yes and, uh, you know for some reason my if code is going <laughs> there every time i write it maybe it's a syntax error i don't know what yeah, i yeah, yeah. is if temperature is greater than 60 then yes. if temperature is uh, whatever less than 80 then i'm returning true as yes. 
pause. But for some reason, that first line itself within the function is giving me an error. Okay, beautiful. Since we are not yet uh, fluently sharing screen, I won't answer your question right this minute. In in about 10 minutes or so, we're going to do the AFL's condition in this. Oh, sorry, we haven't covered it. Huh? Fine, fine, fine. No, I think it's my mistake. I just... No, no, I'm saying in 10 minutes, we're going to do AFL's anyway. You'll see the syntax there. Oh. Just ask me that question again at that moment, okay? Right. But, but I want to make an important comment though. Of course, I did not use if-else because I've not introduced if-else. But I uh, want everyone to understand later, once you understand if-else, this is much more compact and clean. Yes, mm -hmm. there are no branches in the code and the logic is very precise. So I want all of you to develop this skill of using simple one-line Boolean conditions rather than complicated or more complicated if-else type conditions. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. Even even I, I have to share with you that I never used to like these Boolean conditions. So I would prefer, I would say if else is easy for me to reason about it. So why don't I use it? But you can see why this is compact, clean. And once you start thinking in terms of Boolean conditions, it's mm -hmm. pretty robust and hard to make mistakes here because it basically does what we want logically. Right. Okay. So we will come back to the if else, Mohit. It's a good, it's a good try. Good. All right. Thank you. Uh, please keep those questions and comments coming. Okay. Uh, uh, there's no right question or comment. So please do it. Uh, I would prefer not to pick, uh, have Manish pick on anyone and uh, just engage. Okay. <laughs>